Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I'm going to answer a question from a viewer and they just stitching with the Brother Luminaire group. They have a design they've already embroidered. They want to re-hoop their fabric and embroider another design. They want to know how to do that. So this video will show you how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is select a design that I want to use and I'll just use one of these hearts and I'll choose set and we'll just move it down on the screen. I know it needs to be smaller because what I have in the hoop is something I stitched out for a previous video. I'll go to the camera and choose scan and choose OK. Now what I'm scanning is some hoop fabric and you can see that right here and we'll go back and look at the screen. Let me get us back in focus. The heart is too large. Let me close the screen. Uh, scan window and let's go in and we'll resize the heart. Now when you're using those shapes, the shapes themselves are objects. So you can resize them whatever size you want and down to the smallest size. You don't have to worry about density. Choose OK and I'll just choose a duplicate and we'll have intersecting hearts. Now I want to group that together so I can move it and I'll just move it right about here and if I'm satisfied with that I'm ready to embroider but I may want to look at it also projected so let me show you how to do that we'll go to embroidery and we'll choose a projector and what you'll see is this box and what we need to do is move that box down to where we actually have the design. Remember, everything that you see stitched out in red is from the background scan. Now let's move underneath the hoop for a moment or under the, not under the hoop, but let's look under the needle. And you can see that scan right here. Now I can use the arrow keys and move this heart up if I decide I want to nudge it up. And you can see that it's moving up. And I'll show you again that on, on the screen so you know where it is. So what I was using was this arrow. Let me adjust my camera a little. And if you're satisfied and you're ready to stitch out, all you have to do is click OK and you're ready to stitch out. So there are a couple of things I want you to know about when you scan. The first thing is go to page number, I think it's nine, let's look and see, it may be 10. 10, and you want to delete that image after you're, you finish with it so that when you turn your machine on next time, you don't see that image on the screen. There are some people that say the fabric thickness sensor can adjust your scan quality, that if you're having problems with your scan, turn this off. Now you notice mine was off anyway. I hope this answers your question, and if it doesn't, let me know, and thanks for your time today.